Hi guys, today we're going to look at supersizing sentences by adding in words. The boy ran across the park. That's a complete sentence, it makes sense. It's an okay sentence, but it doesn't really give the reader much of a picture in their mind. We could add in words to help the reader create a better picture in their mind. Where do you think we could add a word to supersize this sentence? Here's some words that we could add in. Let's think about where we could add them. So we've got silly, little, busy, shy. We could add them in here in front of the word boy to tell the reader what kind of boy we're talking about. So we could say the silly boy, the little boy, the busy boy or the shy boy. I've chosen silly. The silly boy ran across the park. Here I have added in a word to improve this sentence, to supersize it. Now we have the silly boy ran across the park. Do you think we'd be able to add in another word to supersize this sentence even more? Remember we supersize sentences to help the reader make a picture in their mind. Where do you think we could add in another word to supersize this sentence? Remember before we added a word in front of boy? Yeah, I think we could add a word in front of park. Let's give it a go. Let's think about the park. So we've got the silly boy ran across the park. What sort of park might it be? The busy park, a noisy park or a big park? We could add in one of these words to supersize this sentence even more. I chose the word busy. The silly boy ran across the busy park. I think that gives the reader a much better picture in their mind. This is the sentence we started with. The boy ran across the park. It was an okay sentence. Then we supersized it by adding in words. We now have the silly boy ran across the busy park. Remember, supersizing sentences helps the reader make a better picture in their mind.